It is so amusing. And I love the guessing game. Definitely. I was 1000% guessing and we didn't actually know um, the ending until much later. So even as a kind of co-creator, I didn't really know. I let them attend to the scripts. I worked out with them on the first script, but uh, I let them attend to the script. So I didn't really know. And they were kind of teasing us with it, even as, as late as episode six, I'd say. I can't stop thinking about this. Neither can I. We should do our own true crime podcast. You think that maybe you've reached the end, but there's still more to come. And I think that's what makes it exciting. And it obviously made it exciting to film as well, because we didn't know either. So we were on, we were on for the ride. I, I love yeah. mysteries and I really like to watch mysteries. And, you know, the more they can fake me out, the more I like it. Get out of the building now. Exclamation point. Exclamation point. I think you always do what is written, but then, you know, you, you, you get to know your character so well, you kind of say, gee, maybe he'd say this, or maybe this could be funny. And that's when you uh, weasel up to the director and get freedom takes. It was written as a very dry, sarcastic, you know, very blunt young woman. Um, but it was so much fun. Yeah. We got to just, I felt like the more I was, like playing Mabel as the episodes were going, I just morphed into her. <laughs> I just felt like it was a part of me in a way. It was fun. Martin, there are rumors from other co-stars that you were making people laugh the most in scenes and requiring take two, three, four, five and beyond. <laughs> well, first of all, if you're implying that I'm not a total pro, how dare you? And that, yes, that's true. <laughs> Listen, it was a very loose, happy set. You know, um, when you're doing comedy and you, you want to walk on to a set that everyone's happy to be there and everyone's kind of laughing and stifling, like that, that encourages you. That's your world. And it certainly was that kind of set. I think we're on to something big here. And these are... Candid photos I took of our neighbors. Why are they all selfies? So I don't draw suspicion. So something came out that wasn't there. As I, I've said this before, but, you know, chemistry is not a natural. It's like you would think... Uh, Marty and I would have good chemistry because we've worked together for 35 years, but that's not necessarily true on camera. You can have married couples who have no chemistry. And, you know, so this, the chemistry that I feel the three of us have is good luck. There's some great names, Dan Fogelman, John Hoffman, working, let alone, you know, Steve and Selena. And, uh, on this project, I think everyone's done the top work, maybe, of their careers.